everybody, good morning. It's me, Lisa Concepcion, with another episode of Lisa's Lowdown on Love. Woohoo! Where I bring you little insights and nuggets of information to hopefully help you have a better time at finding, giving, and keeping love in your life, starting with love of self. I got my CVS bag. I just met a cute boy in CVS. The sun is shining, life is good. So, I come today with a little insight that is good for both men and women, a little code that you can live by so that we live in a much more harmonious dating environment. I'm all about the peace and love, baby. So here's what you do. Physical attraction is very, very important. In fact, some may say it is a cornerstone of a relationship. If you don't wanna bump uglies and see this person naked, you got a problem, but you have to be honest about it. And sometimes people aren't honest about it and they leave people on and they maybe try to sort out like maybe they can grow on me or you know I'm not really that physically attracted but like over time maybe I'll become that way so they date and explore but sometimes you just know and so it's very important that you are very honest about it but you come at it from a place of love and nice and respect and you don't want to like crush the other person. There's no need for that. You can make a great friend. You can be like, this person's amazing. Like great rapport, very like smart, inspiring. I can like get a lot of knowledge from this person. I can give them something of myself, but I just don't want to see them naked ever at all. And there's nothing wrong with that. And the sooner you communicate that with love and kindness, and you just do this, and I'll show you how you do it, because the way I just said it on camera, not good. That's just between you and me. But if I was to tell a man this, I would say, I have a question for you. I believe that all relationships begin on a foundation of respect and honesty and just integrity. And so with that, I'm curious to know if you see a romantic connection between us. If that's your agenda, if that's what you're wanting, I just want to get some clarity on that. And you see what they say. And if they say, well, you know, I'm attracted to you, and yes, I am open to exploring something romantic, who wouldn't be, la 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 la. That is your opportunity to say, okay, so here's where I'm at. And I bring this up because I respect you, I think you're cool, I think you're a sweetheart of a person, and I would love to still continue to have a connection with you. However, I know with full certainty that I don't see or share um, the desire to take things in a romantic direction. But if you want, we can be friends, we can hang out, we can enjoy each other's company, and who knows, maybe I know someone for you. And we can like hang out and be friends and introduce each other and then we end up having this really cool bond and trust and loyalty and respect because from the get-go there was honesty see and it was done in a polite classy like non-manipulative just want to know where you're at and here's where I'm at and so you have a choice you could say listen I got plenty of friends I don't need another friend bye no worries no harm no foul or you could say wow like that was really cool of you to be so honest I appreciate that and yeah I always am welcoming of new people in my life, especially when they're honest and upfront. So that's how you handle it. Be classy, be honest, have integrity, show respect, and fill your pool of great people to know. You don't have to get naked with everybody, but you could have a good meeting of the mind, so don't risk that. Bye.